Hello everyone, I am Dr. Trupti. Welcome to my YouTube channel Enjoy Biochemistry. In today's video, let's learn about disorder of pyrimidine metabolism that is orotic aciduria with the help of case study. This topic is very important for case based short answer question as well as it can be a part of long answer question. So let's begin with a case study. A four year old girl was brought to the hospital with complaints of weakness, failure to thrive and delayed milestones. On examination, she was pale and small for age. On laboratory investigation, hemoglobin level was 6 gram per cent. Megaloblastic anemia was detected. There was no response to vitamin B12, folate and pyridoxin therapy. Urine examination showed crystalline sediment of orotic acid. Now what are the various questions that can be asked on this topic? The first is mention the probable diagnosis and justify it. Name the deficient enzyme leading to the condition. Enumerate the characteristic clinical features of this condition. Explain the biochemical basis of megaloblastic anemia seen in this patient. Which investigations are required to diagnose the condition and how can this patient be managed? So let's find out the answers of all these questions. The first question is mention the probable diagnosis and justify it. So here the probable diagnosis is orotic aciduria excretion of orotic acid in urine. Now why do you think this is the case of orotic aciduria? So to justify this we have to write various key features of the this condition. So whenever you, you write any justification for any clinical condition you have to mention the key features given in the clinical case scenario as well as key features given on laboratory investigation and examination. So the key features given in the uh, case scenario which favors the diagnosis of orotic aciduria here are the patient presented with weakness, failure to thrive and there is delayed milestones. Milestones are delayed. Now which are the key features on examination and investigation. So the patient is pale on examination which means that anemia is present and the patient is small for her age. So growth retardation is there which is also a clinical feature of orotic aciduria. Hemoglobin on investigation, hemoglobin is, is low, so there is anemia and again it, it is given that megaloblastic anemia was detected and it is refractory to the supplementation of vitamin B12, folate and pyridoxine therapy. In addition to this on urine analysis, orotic acid crystals are seen. So all these findings, all these features given in this case scenario as well as on examination and investigations favor the diagnosis of orotic aciduria which is the disorder of pyrimidine metabolism. The second question is name the deficient enzyme leading to the condition that is orotic aciduria. So we know what happens in the pyrimidine biosynthesis carbon dioxide and glutamine condense together to form carbamoyl phosphate by action of enzyme carbamoyl phosphate synthetase 2 Later from the carbamoyl phosphate, carbamoyl aspartate is formed and through the series of reaction then orotate is formed. Now this orotate is then converted to orotidine monophosphate by the action of enzyme orotate phosphoribosyl transferase and this OMP is further decarboxylated to form uridine monophosphate that is UMP and further there is formation of various pyrimidine nucleotides. If you want to know the details about the pyrimidine biosynthesis, please check the play playlist video is available. Now, if there is defect in any of the enzyme out of orotate phosphoribosyl transferase or OMP decarboxylase or both. So the defect can be in both the enzyme or either of the enzyme. The condition is called as orotic acid because here the OMP and UMP cannot be converted to various pyrimidines or various pyrimidine nucleotides cannot be synthesized. So there will be increased excretion or accumulation of orotate and this orotate appears in the urine. It is excreted in the urine and this condition is called as aciduria, orotic aciduria. So orotic aciduria can be due to defect in both or any of this en enzyme that is orotate phosphoribosyl transferase or OMP decarboxylase. Orotic aciduria can also be due to the secondary cause that is it is secondary to the defect in enzyme that is ornithine transcarbamylase. It is the enzyme of urea cycle. 
the third question is enumerate the characteristic clinical features of this condition and due to the enzyme deficiency that is orotate phosphoribosyl transferase or omp decarboxylase there is increase level of orotate which is excreted in the urine called as orotic aciduria and further there is defect in the pyrimidine nucleotide biosynthesis so all clinical features are result of this what are those clinical features there can be growth retardation immunodeficiency failure to thrive milestones are delayed and there is megaloblastic anemia which is refractory to vitamin b12 folic acid and pyridoxine supplementation means there is no effect of therapy or given to treat the megaloblastic anemia which is seen in the condition of orotic aciduria the fourth question is explain the biochemical basis of megaloblastic anemia seen in this patient so we know that in the orotic aciduria there is decrease pyrimidine nucleotide biosynthesis so which further leads to decrease nucleic acid synthesis decrease erythrocyte formation and there is megaloblastic anemia so what is this megaloblastic anemia it encompasses a heterogeneous group of anemias which are characterized by presence of large red blood cell precursors which are called as megaloblast and this condition is due to impaired dna synthesis which inhibits nuclear division now cytoplasmic maturation is mainly dependent on the rna and protein synthesis which is less impaired in this condition so there is asynchronous maturation between the nucleus and cytoplasm of the erythroblast and it leads to large size of megaloblast so this megalo megaloblastic anemia is due to decrease nucleic acid and that is the decrease dna synthesis and there is asynchronous maturation between nucleus and cytoplasm of erythroblast now this megaloblastic anemia is different from the megaloblastic anemia seen due to deficiency of vitamin b12 folic acid and pyridoxine and how this is identified because the even if the patient is treated with all this vitamin supplementation this megaloblastic anemia is not corrected because it is due to the enzyme defects of pyrimidine uh, nucleotide biosynthesis and there is no pyrimidine nucleotide synthesis due to this enzyme deficiency so even if the vitamins are given to the patient vitamin therapy is given to the patient megaloblastic anemia will be still there so the megaloblastic anemia seen in this condition the characteristic feature is that it is refractory to the treatment or therapy given that is vitamin b12 folic acid and pyridoxine the sixth question is which investigations are required to diagnose the condition so cbc complete blood count to detect the type of anemia plasma ammonia level to differentiate from urea cycle disorder because we know that orotic aciduria can be secondary to ornithine transcarbamylase deficiency which is the enzyme of uh, urea cycle there will be increased excretion of orotic acid in urine more than 1 g per day there will be increased urinary orotic acid to creatinine ratio and the assay for defective enzymes in patients erythrocytes will help to diagnose the condition in addition to that there will be normal serum b12 folic acid and there will be no evidence of transcobalamin 2 deficiency so all these investigations uh, will favor the diagnosis or will help to diagnose the condition that is orotic aciduria now how can this patient be managed so this patient can be managed by giving the uridine and this uridine can be converted to ump by the kinases which are present in the cells and this then ump can be further converted to utp which can inhibit by feedback inhibition this enzyme carbamoyl phosphate synthetase 2 and because of this feedback inhibition the carbamoyl phosphate synthetase synthetase 2 will be inhibited and there will be decreased production of orotate and thus it will help to reduce the concentration of orotate and it will help to treat the condition that is orotic aciduria so the uridine supplementation blocks the synthesis of orotic acid by feedback inhibition in addition to this it acts as a substrate for synthesis of ctp and which is helpful for dna and rna synthesis so uridine is the treatment by which the orotic aciduria patients can be treated what is secondary 
ऑरोटिक एसिड यूरिया इट इज ड्यू टू डिफेक्ट इन द ऑर्निथिन ट्रांस कार्बोमाइलाइज एंजाइम ऑफ यूरिया साइकिल सो इफ यू सी इन द सेकेंड स्टेप ऑफ यूरिया साइकिल ऑर्निथिन इज कन्वर्टेड टू सिट्रोलिन by ornithine transcarbamylase so if this enzyme is defective then the carbamyl phosphate which is synthesized in the first step of urea cycle which cannot be converted to citrulline so there will be increase in the level of carbamyl phosphate and this carbamyl phosphate increase will uh, lead to the channeling of this carbamyl phosphate in the pyrimidine synthesis and it leads to increase production of orotic acid and as it is secondary to enzyme defect of the urea cycle it is called as secondary orotic acid urea now let's summarize the topic orotic acid urea is the disorder of pyrimidine metabolism the name itself suggests there is excretion of orotic acid in the urine that's why it is called as orotic acid urea it is the autosomal recessive condition and it is due to the defect of enzyme uh, orotate phosphoribosyl transferase or and omp decarboxylase or it can be secondary to ornithine transcarbamylase deficiency there is increase orotic acid uh, production and uh, further there can be excretion in the urine and that's why it is called as acid urea there can be excretion of orotic acid crystals in the urine there will be increase excretion of orotic acid in the urine and this can these crystals will lead to uh, urinary tract infection so it is also characterized by crystal urea the clinical features seen are growth retardation immunodeficiency failure to thrive and delayed milestones and the clinical features are mainly due to increased orotic acid uh, production or its excretion and defective pyrimidine nucleotide biosynthesis the megaloblastic anemia seen in this patient it is not responsive to the pyridoxine vitamin b12 and folic acid therapy that is the characteristic feature of megaloblastic anemia seen in the condition that is orotic acid urea urinary orotic acid and enzyme assay for the defective enzyme will help in the diagnosis of orotic acid urea and the condition can be managed by giving uridine so i hope uh, this video on orotic acid urea will be useful to you thank you for watching and happy learning